Steve Sweeney and I'm a songwriter. Um, I've been writing songs most of my life, since about the ninth grade. And I decided to do a demo to try to get my songs out, see if I could uh, get somebody to either buy my songs to do them or, or uh, promote me to do my songs. When I started looking for a studio, a friend of mine recommended Solomon Studios in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And uh, that's where I met Chris Solomon. When you first get to the studio, you, you want to think you're lost. I thought I was lost because it was a warehouse in the middle of other That's warehouses uh, and it just didn't look like there's going to be a music studio anywhere there. You walk up and you open up this uh, red door and there you are in Solomon Studios. Chris shares the studio with a guy named Peter Bana. He, he owns the other half of the studio. Uh, his, his half of the studio is called Wally Cleaver Studio. Uh, they, they both produce a wide range of, of people, um, styles of music. Anything from bluegrass to country to rock and roll to soul. And uh, they both have a fire for what they do. They both are producers. It's a great, it's a great atmosphere to be in because you're around people who um, have that fire. So when I got in the studio, after playing the piano parts, I had to sing. That was the scariest part because I never considered myself a singer. I just sang to uh, figure out how I want a song to go. And you're in a, in a studio, it's even more intimidating because you're in this little booth, enclosed booth and uh, it's not, it's, it's just, it's like a, being in a laboratory or something. It's not like being in front of people or, you know, you're in, it's like being in front of machines. And uh, Chris, he's got a video on, he's got a video camera on you as you're in the, in the booth. And so he can see, you know, in other words, he could never, the way the booth is set up, he couldn't see you in the control room. And so he was able to coach me and loosen me up and get me to sing. And I actually had a, ended up having a great time singing. In this world, those things worth crying for. You want to go from the beginning of this, right where we at are, this whole section? Okay, well, yeah, because I noticed when I came in, it, my voice sounded different. Okay. No. exciting for me to have my dad in the studio with me. Um, he, dad has done a lot of recording on his own. He's played in gospel groups and he's recorded five albums. And so when I asked him to sing some background vocals, he was he was uh, a little tentative, but he was uh, I think he had a great time in the studio. We had a great time together. When we first got in the studio, um, I could tell he was a little nervous, but once he got into it, it went great. 